We are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Hello, I'm Barry and this is Jamie. Now, how much of an impact can you have on two chefs' moods just by giving them some kitchen gadgets to review? Before you turn around, mate, me and Baz are so excited for this one. This could be, this could be it. This could be the height of human engineering. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. It's a great thing, mate. Turn around and find out. <laughs> what the hell is that? I know! Let's <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. Oh, it's got other buttons. Let's have a play. Hello. How did you find this? We have to do some R&D on this one because the instructions were in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Any guesses? It's like a car wash for dishes. Well, it can only possibly be something that's supposed to clean something on the basis that it's full of cleaning stuff. James, this is the lovely automatic plate washer. Let washing dishes become easy to enjoy, come to feel the different dishwashing experience. Just use the unique handheld automatic dish scrubber, just lock in a plate or bowl, pull the trigger, and it'll spin vigorously around while the scrubber drags itself around the dish as it spins. Wow, nothing prepared me for that. <laughs> and then just insert it. Where? How the hell does this work? Straight away, in. I s oh, this is genius. No, Ebers, wait, no. Now clamp it. Oh! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> now the way that this is supposed to be used is underneath the running tap and because this is a studio kitchen we don't have a running tap so Barry is your tap. Turn me on. Oh, I'm excited for the bowl. I don't think I've got the arm for it anymore. Go it's on, really come on! Point. It's heavy. Use the fingers. <gasps> oh, oh my god! god! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Back to true form with these videos. Yes. I am speechless. Do you know what though? It works. Kind, it kind of worked. It makes it, it makes it more stressful, more fun, less easy. It's just not quicker, cheaper, or easier than doing it by hand. What kind of a mind comes up with this? I, you get, you have to admire it. It's very, very clever, and somebody has spent far too much time developing it, and it does work. How much do you think you can purchase one of those for? I mean, it's quite unique. I've, I don't think, I have nothing to compare it to. I can't imagine that the amount of time and energy and effort that's gone into design that it can be any less than £25. £27. Oh, OK. £53.52. Goodness me. <laughs> Useless or not, mate. It's so useless. It's useless. But I would oh. still like to know your thoughts anyway. Um, I couldn't be more glad that this has come into my life. You're welcome. Thank you. James, you know what to do. I've seen this before. And I thought, at the time, is it required? <laughs> avocado something. This is the three-in-one avocado slicer. I'm sure you've heard about all the stories involving millennials suffering at avocado hand, which is the injury sustained whilst trying to peel an avocado. Probably the biggest setback to hit the millennial generation as of yet. Could you demonstrate quickly how to safely cut a avocado in half, de-stone it and then slice it, please? Could you repeat the process but using the tool and see if the process is any easier? There you go, mate. Go nuts. So first of all, you'll notice it's a lot safer. It has plastic blades, which allow you to cut the skin and the flesh safely and effectively. It's a lot more comfy. There's a pitta remover. Oh! oh. Okay, that wasn't completely expected. Can you safely push your finger through the hole to release it? Or not? Is that sharp? It worked better than I expected. I think the slicer might have let it down a little bit, because it's 
a little bit messy. Yeah, that's just not as good as a spoon and then chopping. I'm kind of losing the satisfaction of chopping. I completely get that. Do you want to save the other half, Ben? Because you can save that for another time. What, the little avocado save? Avocado protector came free. And adjustable for many sizes, I would suggest Mine is a little small. <laughs> um, do you want to take a guess at the price, mate? If it's any more than a negative number, I don't see where that has a place in anybody's life. Uh, $7.99. Oh! Pound out, $8.99. I don't even think it's worth it. I just don't, I think they're trying to solve a problem that doesn't really exist. So useless or not? Bit useless, yeah, useless. Give a spin, mate. Ta da! Interesting. <coughs> Measuring jugs. These are two separate products, but you know, there's only so much you can do with measuring jugs, so we put them together. One is very flexible. I reckon that gets around that and is easy pour of hot liquids straight from microwave. And then one is plastic, silicon handle, and measures. So it's got a nice little ring around the outside so you can look straight into it. Useful. I mean... Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. oh. Don't pig too early. So the one you're holding now is the squeeze and pour measuring cup made of silicon. The external honeycomb pattern dissipates heat, making it safe to touch even straight from the microwave. A simple squeeze forms a precise pour spout to easily add liquid ingredients, fill cupcake pans or pour pancake batter. And this is the angled measuring jug. This has an angled measuring surface so you can measure accurately from above and bring an end to bending, lifting, checking and adjusting. I would like to try this one first because that one is more interesting to me. I'm going to weigh out 200 ml of milk and without having to go down to eye level, 200 ml. I think it's useful. If I were to buy another one, I might buy this. That is basically all it's for. I thought that was really unnecessary until I used it. Oh. And someone's calculated the exact angle. Oh, well, that's easy, that's just maths. Well, uh, it's hard for me. We would like you to fill your squeezy jug full of chocolate, melt that in the microwave, grab it straight away, see if it's hot, see if it can be handled. Use a squeezy method to fill those silicon moulds. Why don't you heat up some of that milk in the other jug? Careful, Ben. Should it be hot? You might burn your hand. That looks hot to me. It's pretty hot, steamy milk. Well, I can touch it and I'm just like smashing it instead of stirring it, which is actually quite useful because it means you don't need a spoon. So let's see if you can pour it into there using the squidgy spout without it spilling. No mess. Good control, good squeezability. I just feel it's missing a handle. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Do you want to hazard a guess at some prices? I think this one is $4.99. And I think this one is $6.99. Eight quid. How about the other one? Eight quid. The first one, seven pounds. And the second one was $11.99. That might be useful to spend a bit more money on. That is pretty expensive. I don't think it's useful enough to warrant it. I do like this measuring thing. I don't really see the point in that if it's milk or liquid you're heating. Useless or not? You decide. You thought it was weird. It's about to get a lot weirder. You thought we peaked with the first one, mate. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that'd surprise you, wouldn't it? <laughs> Do you have any idea what on earth that is? I think this is a banana cradle. Yeah, so it's like a, what, like a banana split thing? James. Yeah. <laughs> this is the banana surprise yum station. <laughs> <laughs> Bananas have never tasted so good. Banana surprise makes the most amazing desserts um, in four easy steps. Simply place your banana in the banana yum station, call the banana and use the specially provided tools then select your favourite filling. This takes me back to being a child. At the end of cooking savoury, you would take a banana and a knife and you would stab it multiple times and you would leave little slits in it and each slit was the perfect size for a Cadbury's button, chocolate button. And then you'd slide a chocolate button into each of those slits and then you'd put it on the barbecue 
while you sat down to main course and by the time you'd finished you had roasted banana with chocolate inside mm -hmm. and that was the best your upbringing is the reason you're a chef that was the best banana surprise ever so it's a kid's thing mm. making bananas fun making fruit fun mm -hmm. it's like panto yeah it's the true the kids go into this completely innocent and go this is good yeah. fun the adults I don't, I don't can have a proper laugh. I don't understand what's smutty about it yet. Oh, Just don't do it. Look at that, he's even... He's gone <laughs> whoa, 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 Look at the instructions. Don't just go opening a banana willy-nilly. Don't tell me I'm expected to use that. Put your banana in the yum station. <laughs> <laughs> Insert the tube. I've got to put my thing inside it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Put yourself together. Oh, that's quite satisfying. <laughs> yeah, give it some of that. Nice. Then pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's it. Oh dear. Oh, oh no, he's dribbling down his chin. Oh. Next, I've got to do the filling. That's a little nozzle, isn't it? Oh, if only you had such a precision. Oh. <laughs> this is amazing. I can't believe this exists. I love the fact that we've lowered him to doing this. Chocolate's coming out. It's all, all going to plan, mate, yeah. That's it, pump it full, good. Go deep. Oh, and now I peel it. Oh. oh! Oh no! That might be user error. That was because you were thrusting. I was, I was thrusting. Mm. Don't chop it up. No, you can't oh, chop it. What are you doing? You're like a banana. banana. Oh, goodness me. I wanted to see a cross section, see if it got all the way down. But come on now. It's silly. Yeah, they might, they might, they might encourage people to eat bananas. You got one more banana? Yeah. <laughs> He's doing Mama Ebers' recipe. Except we've got chips. It gets kids to eat more fruit, maybe. Uh, do you know what? It was quite. We had fun doing it, didn't we? We certainly we did. did. We had a wonderful time. I think for kids and adults alone, I think adults would have as much fun, like a pantomime, mm. different fun, <laughs> as much fun. I really, I, I'm struggling with it because it's hilarious to us, and, but might actually be fun for a kid. While you're playing with your banana yum station, do you want to guess a price? $14.99. I reckon that is 12 euros. Seven pounds and 45 pence. Great product, love it. It's silly fun. I can imagine kids giving it a go, but you've got to pick your banana carefully. <laughs> useless or not? I can't say it's useless, because if, it, if I did it right, it might have worked, and I'm sure a kid would love to find a chocolatey, chocolatey center to their next banana. So, useful. Oh, no, that hurt! That's going on his CV. <laughs> it's not useful, come on! Useless or not, you decide. Turns out quite a big impact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grumpy asses. <laughs> Many of you who have clicked the bell to get notified every time we upload a new video have told us it's not working. All you need to do is go back into it, click the bell, on and on again, and then it should work. I love YouTube. Don't you love YouTube? Is, yeah, and that works for everything in life. Off and on again. Click the bell. Also, I've got to show you this because this just turned up in the post for us. It's the first copy we've had made of our new book, which is Hero Veg. And it's on pre-sale now to all club members. If you want to get a copy, well, you're going to need to be a club member. And when you join, you can check out all the other books in our app as well. Oi! <laughs> What's the difference between eggs and you? No idea, mate. Eggs get laid. Have a great week, everyone. See oh, you later. That's bored. I've just done before. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. You ever realise you've just sat there watching a grown man microwave milk? <laughs>